I do. This just broke on my town, town newspaper. I can't look at it. I've done looked at 10 this month, and it's all your life unless you want to buy subscriptions. And I'm not going <laughs> to. Vandalizing at Andrew's Geyser. Somebody spray painted you. You're annoying. <laughs> it's an old boy. <laughs> I've done worse. <laughs> I don't want to say no more. Uh, that's one of the dudes that vandalized that cemetery. Ah, uh, shit. That's it. We're getting the sax piece. Yay! Who gives a shit? Um, woman charged with shooting man. <laughs> that's a good one. Uh, Authority seized 425 pot plants in McDowell. This guy's here is a man. It's named for Colonel Alexander Boyd Andrews, a North Carolina native who was the vice president of the Southern Railway Company and one of the men responsible for the construction of the railroad between Old Fort and Asheville, North Carolina, in the late 19th century. Mount was constructed in 1885 with a dual purpose. It was a feature of the Round Knob Hotel. Round Knob and a hotel. That's a real picture. I think that's a probably a illustration. It's hard to find any pictures. It's not there anymore. It's long, long, long gone. And also that's not the original, it's, that's the original place. It's not there no more either. It's down below, down over this way. Um, yeah, there it is. <clears throat> uh, the plant was constructed in 1885 with the dual purpose. It was a feature of the Round Knob Hotel and a tribute to the approximately 120 men who died building the railroad through this particularly treacherous stretch of land that culminates with the crossing of the Eastern Continental Divide through the Swannanoa Tunnel. That was said to be eye-catching for railroad passengers ascending 13 miles of track and seven tunnels that peaks at the top of Swannanoa Gap because it could be seen several times along the route. The Round Knob Hotel was burnt to the ground in 1903 and the fountain fell into disrepair. In 1911, George Fisher Baker, a wealthy New York financier and philanthropist who had been friends with Colonel Andrews, funded its restoration. Southern Railway Company did not grant continuation of the easement for the fountain at the time, so a new five-sided basin was constructed about 70 yards across Mill Creek, and the piping and nozzle were moved to the fountain's current location. The town of Beauport was given rights to the basin and the pipe that carries the water, and the fountain was formerly named Andrews Geyser. I think this, just thinking about this uh, round knob hotel where I used to work, it was, I don't know, Maybe never mind. Just a thought. Maybe then people moved out to that area and built a resort there. Uh, County Old Fort continues to use it. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Anyway. <clears throat> anyway, someone vandalized it. <laughs> and I sure they probably wrote something worse than that but you know they won't put that in the newspaper <laughs> so i got other stuff but i can't view the newspaper on here i'll leave the links but now yeah, i almost forgot the pictures of the guys are it's really it's pretty very man-made yes the area around is pretty it's, it's frozen there ahead, middle of Oakport, it's the rail station. Look at that, 
and fit out. Yes, there's Andrew's geyser. Natural tunnel. I guess they fucking drilled through it. They did a lot around here. Where's that? This dispute ends with shotgun blast. Let's see. What am I doing here, Harry Potter? There we go. Okay. A man woman has been charged with a shooting a man with a shotgun during a dispute. The sheriff's office said Tuesday. Deputy Mike Fox charged Mildred Elaine Bollinger, 45, with felony assault with a deadly weapon and intent to kill inflicting serious injury. The deputies of Mary Police and paramedics were called to the house where they lived at 11.35 p.m. Monday in reference to someone who had sustained a gunshot wound. The resident belongs to Stanley Newton, who was not home at the time. Authorities found 33-year-old. Oh, I'll get to that in a minute. Another 33. Of Marion lying in the yard with a gunshot wound to his right shoulder and neck area. Further investigation revealed Bollinger had got and McIntosh got into a dispute inside the mobile home and Bollinger shot McIntosh once with a shotgun. He was taken to Memorial Mission Hospital, non-life-threatening. She's in jail under a $100,000 bond. Okay. Here's the other 33. Garen Wayne Moore died. I don't even know who this is. He didn't even live here. Uh, 33 of Marshville. Passed away Monday the 10th. I had no wife or kids. Just brother, sister sister, mother, father's, stepfather's, and niece, and nephews. He didn't even live near here. He lived in Mar Marshville, and the family was from Charlotte. So what is this doing? In McDowell County News, and they're like a long way away from there. 33. Authority sees 878 pot plants. 25 of them were found in McDowell. Hmm. <laughs> A lot of farmers here. Okay. Uh, agents from the NC State Bureau of Investigation coordinated large scale efforts to identify and dismantle outdoor marijuana growing operations in eight western counties. And McDowell topped the list for the number of plants seized. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. The multi agency operation included SBI, U.S. Drug Enforcement Agency, or DEA, the Forestry Service and Wildlife Resource, and multiple sheriff's office and police departments. Planes and helicopters manned by the DEA, SBI, and Highway Patrol provided air support to law enforcement officers on the ground. Ooh, we gotta get them pot growers. Bad, pot bad. Shit. Give me a break. They need to be worried about the goddamn meth problem in this county. The operation was conducted during the week of July 19th to 24th and focused on McDowell, Cherokee, Swain, Graham, Madison, Yancey, Caldwell, and Mitchell. A total of 878 marijuana plants were seized, which prompted 13 separate investigations to identify the individuals involved. McDowell had the number of pot plant seizures with 425. They done, I said that at the beginning. According to the SBI, the investigation continues <laughs> into those responsible. <laughs> Good luck with that. A lot of people around here plant them in the middle of fucking nowhere. <laughs> but they're booby trapped, of course. Anyone with information related to marijuana grow operations is encouraged to contact the sheriff's office. 
Oh man. <laughs> yeah, right. Like a ain't nobody around here growing anything. They're just fucking making meth. They ain't worried about that shit though. I think it needs something else. I can't, I can't remember. Uh, somebody broke into somebody's house. Bald knob blaze. I think they pretty much got it out. It's gonna be smoky though. Or was it? Oh, Diet Pepsi gets rid of aspartame. Um, and there's counterfeit money going around here too. Um, I'm gonna do something else. Um, oh yeah, yeah. On the day in history, on August twelfth, nineteen eighty-five, the world's worst single aircraft disaster occurred as a crippled Japan Airlines Boeing seven forty-seven on a domestic flight crashed into a mountain, killing five hundred and twenty people. Four people survived. Um, Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Um, fuck. Stupid paper. Um, study suggests Earth losing small species. This is from the Washington Post. It's in here. I'll find the link. Put it. Uh, finally, show a loss of biodiversity on the planet. A mysterious fungus is killing snakes in at least nine states. Um, skin it up and see. That's from the AP. Um, nine eastern states. One of them's Vermont. That's in Illinois, New York, New Hampshire, Massachusetts. It's what kind of snakes? Um, venomous timber rattlesnakes. Yeah. Timber rattlers. I don't want to mess with one of them fuckers. Okay. <clears throat> I guess that was it. I think. Ooh, somebody got married. Yay, good for them. Um, ooh, a deputy's retiring. Yay. Shit. It's all on the floor. Okay, that's it. I'm about to run out of time anyway. Peace and love.